everything you talk about and everything you act upon you're training your brain to become better at it because it is going to create the belief system about what you can do what you cannot do so it's important to watch out the words and the beliefs that you are feeding to your brain and especially this is at most important because if you are knowingly or unknowingly feeding some of the belief that is going to create the fear uncertainty and more importantly creating that limiting beliefs it is the for, uh, time for you to let go those beliefs that you have already built upon and it is the time for you to create new belief system how is that possible it is possible by consciously making an effort to watch about what you're thinking watch on the words that you are um, using on a regular conversation if you want to express a fear if you want to express a problem or if you are not certain about the behavior if you are not certain about doing something instead of expressing it with the weak words try to use a power word hey whenever i have this feeling whenever i am expressing this uh, feeling i'm going to say use a word empowered okay so, uh, what that means is i'm replacing my fear belief system with i am better at handling the situations i am an achiever so when you are doing this you are letting go the existing belief system you're telling your subconscious mind that hey if i am expressing a fear uncertainty and unable to do uh, certain things or uh, any behavior i am empowered i can do better things i can handle the situations better you need to feed that information constantly to your brain to override the existing beliefs with the new belief system that's going to help you achieve in life it's equally important to focus on what you're thinking and the choice of words that you're using express your feelings day in and day out because this uh, if you think you can you're right if you think you cannot you're still right that's the wisdom from uh, henry ford so it's very important to focus on what you're thinking as well as what the choice of words that you're making because if you don't focus the small words that you're using day in and day out this might be having domino effect on your life so some of the things for example if you're talking about i can i will try and i want instead of these uh, words you can replace them with i can replace that with i will so that way you're committing 100% to get things done and when you're saying i will try the try is the most dangerous word because the moment you say that i'm going to try it out there's an opportunity came your way and you're going to tell yourself that i'm going to try it out you are bailing yourself out of committing 100% to evaluate that opportunity so in that case instead of saying i will try say that i'm going to evaluate when you are evaluating you are telling your brain that we are going to evaluate it 100% committed and see if this is for me so another thing is i want replace that i want with i must have when you are saying i must have you are committing yourself you are submitting yourself to evaluate or do whatever it takes to get to where you want to be so it's as an action item for all of you guys i want you to write down all the words that are not serving you well and that you are using loosely in a day to day conversation or whenever you're talking to your employees you're talking to your colleagues you're talking to your business partners is very important you pay close attention to these words and if you see some of these words that you're using loosely knowingly unknowingly it is time for you to make adjustments list down those uh, words that you are using that are not serving you well find an alternate where you will be able to use the words that are going to help you um so better going forward the words that you are using uh, in the conversations more importantly the words that you are telling to yourself those words are going to become your actions you need to watch out the actions because these actions are going to become your habits and you need to watch out for these habits because these habits are going to become your character and it's utmost important to pay close attention to the character because your character is going to become your destiny so the choice of words that you are telling to others using in the conversations and more importantly the words that you are telling to yourself to share the feelings with uh, within you those words are going to become ultimately the destiny 
so it's very important to pay close attention to the words uh, next time whenever you strike a conversation with the person next to you i hope this information shared on this video is helpful for you if you find a value in the content shared on this video please uh, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing it to the channel and feel free to share it with others who might find value in this uh, thank you so much and good luck bye bye